All right, so we get started on our RC four wheel drive Predator track build. Make sure you have both of your uh, fitting kits: the ZS zero six one three and ZS zero six one zero. So when we get everything out, we got the axle ends that we're going to be replacing. So we take the axle end, or I'm not sure, the lockout, I think they call that. Place that with the aluminum one. You have two grub screws. Make sure to put some uh, thread lock on there. All right, we got that nice and secure. Ready to put our drive pin in, the hub, and then the track installation. So one nut, close it up, and we're ready to go. All right, so front's going to be a little bit different. We've got some steering links to change and knuckles instead of the lockouts. So we're going to start with removing the drive pin. Get the drive link out or steering link out. And now off with the knuckle. Pop our bearings out. And we're going to replace. I'm going to put the aluminum knuckle. Uh, I noticed here I put it upside down. I have to change it afterwards. So make sure the steering arm of the knuckle is in the uh, lower position, not from the top. And like I said, I put it upside down here. I replaced it after or changed it up after, but that's all you need to do for that. So with the hex in place, we're just going to put the track in, one nut, and then we're going to add the cover. And that's pretty much it for the install. Can't see anybody having any issues with the install. It's uh, quite simple. Only a few parts to change. But drastically changes the look of the truck. I haven't tested it out yet, so I can't be 100% sure how well it works. But from what I've seen, it looks to be uh, pretty capable. Alright, so guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.